One of my favorite YouTubers is Cat Creature. She puts up vlogs that she's taken in like several weeks of time and she makes them really beautiful and entertaining and also somehow insightful. I just kind of wanted to make it relaxing in the same way that her videos are relaxing to me. I just kind of wanted to put this out there for you guys. Mainly because, first of all, oh gosh, I have so much to get into. I'm just going to be beating my face. And for those of you who don't know, <laughs> it just means I'm going to be putting on makeup. <laughs> I will not be hurting myself, hopefully, in any form in this video. And I know that 99% of you guys don't care anything about makeup. So that's fine. This is more of just something to do while I talk to you guys as I have another video to film after this. And because my other video for today was ruined and I will tell you all about that, okay? My Tuesday videos are consistently weird and unpredictable and I know a lot of people that subscribe for my music can get, um, you know, that's not their thing, Tuesday videos, and that's fine, that's totally fine. Um, but I do know that some of you guys, there's a handful of y'all out there that just want to see whatever on Tuesday and so this is always for you guys. Um, who just want to see me and hear me talk. <laughs> um, I love you guys. You're my, um, you're the reason, you're literally the reason uh, I keep making these videos. So, um, thank you. Last week, there was no Tuesday video. Um, I started filming a video and it was halfway done when I realized I couldn't finish it because I ordered the wrong charger for my computer so it was going to be broken until whenever I could get a new one. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, I couldn't upload a video on Tuesday. I got sick like that night and I've been sick for several days and just now I'm feeling good again um, just these last couple days so with me thinking I had half a video from last week I was just gonna finish that video for this week and um, I did um, I finished it it was a meet my pets video where I get to show you my cats and my dog and all that fun stuff but um, I looked at my SD card and the half of the video that I filmed last week before I got sick um, I deleted it <laughs> that was great that was a good moment um I did that video because I think two of you guys requested it in my my messages on Instagram so I figured I, I, sh I should do it and um, it just didn't work out this week guys I'm sure I'll redo it I'm sure once I get the stamina <laughs> that's like the most disappointing feeling when you film a video and then realize that you deleted it that is so tragic now <laughs> Where are my lips? <laughs> um, I am getting ready excessively. I don't need to get ready this much. I don't know why I am, but here we are. I'm just gonna film another quick video for Firework. For those of you who don't know Firework's just a little 30 second video sharing app. And I, I put out videos a lot on there, like four times a week. I'll put out little music stuff and um, I think I'm just gonna record a little song or something. I don't know. Necesito hacer un otro video en español <laughs> un día. Don't, don't worry, we're gonna blend more, okay? Just calm down. Just recently I was thinking about when I was a kid and something reminded me, I can't remember what it was. It was something really random that I really remembered doing and enjoying doing and I can't remember what it was. Like, I don't know, but whatever it was, it got me thinking on things that made me or just kids in general excited that just don't make us excited anymore it's kind of funny I started to put down a list but the first thing I wrote down on the list was all holidays obviously hmm. at least for me I guess you guys can say if you agree or disagree in the comments but I just remember thinking Christmas was the most exciting time or your birthday was just something that you kind of like looked forward to all the time. Also, I put on the list rain. I This might also just be a me thing, but I remember when I was little, I was always really excited for the next time it was gonna rain. It also might have to do with the fact that we had some irrigation ditches in our yard and whenever it would rain, they would fill up and make these huge like Calvin and Hobbes kind of puddles and I don't even know what we do we just put on like our water boots and just play in them um, also I put down power outages since there's been a lot of power outages over here um, in California recently um, it kind of reminded me that 
just when I was younger, power outages were a whole different thing. You have no worries about responsibilities or anything. Your parents do all the worrying. And you just get to enjoy lighting all the candles and trying to figure out what games you can play in the dark. Also stirring cake mixes. The parent would always be making the dessert and putting all the effort into it. Um, but I would help by just stirring it every now and then. Also, just imaginary worlds in general. I remember a lot of times if everyone else was busy, I would just play outside. And I created a whole universe that was outside in our yard. I could imagine houses and people, the people that lived in those houses, their names and their relatives. The imagination is... 10 out of 10 powerful when you're young. I like to think that I like to think that those worlds are still out there just kind of waiting for me to come back. <laughs> it kind of gives you like those last online nine years ago vibes, you know? <laughs> Honestly, this has been the hardest semester that I think I've ever had. I just think it's absurd that people that go to public school or whatever school like that they have to deal with that like their whole life. The fact that they've never been not in school I think is crazy. If you do everything like you're supposed to do, you graduate when you're 22 or so after, out of a four year and you're done with school having been in school your entire life. I started going to like an in-person school when I was 15 and I had never been to school before then. I was always homeschooled and I just think it's crazy after being in school for three years um, and not consistently, like I've taken a whole year off when I was on The Voice. I just think it's crazy that there are people that have been in school their whole lives. I don't know how you do that. People younger than me have to worry about all this stuff. It's really a lot and I just, I, I feel for you guys that are stuck in it, you know? I'm also not encouraging anyone to drop out, let me just say that. Last week I got sick and thankfully I'm better, but it was low-key kind of nice to be sick because I was able to just take a minute and I could paint, I could play piano, I could read and that was super nice. It was really 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 nice. So I encourage you guys to just get sick and take some time off. <laughs> just kidding. Lastly, I just wanted to go in and talk about some new music of course. Hopefully I ask that you do the same in the comments I wanted to suggest. Waiting by, y I don't know how to say these names. Hmm. Waiting by Yurit Bo Knox. It's just like electronic. Um, it kind of sounds like a remix of itself, but it's not a remix, it's just a song. It's a fun song and it's really well produced. Um, Guns for Hands by 21 Pilots or Car Radio. I oftentimes forget 21 Pilots exists because they're so extremely mainstream that it's just they get forgotten <laughs> is that possible i don't know it's like when you're so big you see your name and you just kind of pass by i don't know um but genuinely they're really really good musicians and they seem like i've never met them but they seem like cool guys i listened to them a lot in like 2015 so um, um i went back and listened to some of their old stuff and i'm like hey this is this is cool it's like cold play meets Hobo Johnson meets Audio Slave meets I don't know dude. It's just it's some it's some wacky stuff. Um if you dig hard enough, they've got some wacky stuff and I really like that. So um I recommend Claire de Lune by Claude de all the classical music fans. Where are y'all at? Um I don't know how to say that last person's name. Debussy. I'm sorry, I'm an uncultured human. But it's Claire de Lune, it's the classic piano song that everyone knows. Or most people, I don't know, I've met people that don't know it and I'm like, <laughs> you don't know anything. <laughs> anyway, while I was sick, I learned how to play that on piano. Or <laughs> I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say I learned how to play that on piano, I should say I learned how to play part of it on piano. Also, I want to recommend an artist called Girly. She's kind of like the new Avril Lavigne. I don't know, she's just got some weird stuff out there and I, I kind of like it. It's super pop, like electro pop, bedroom pop. If you're not into that, you won't like it. Also, I've rediscovered Marilyn Manson. He's got some great stuff. If, if you don't like um, heavy metal, don't even go there, you're gonna hate it. If you do, uh, lest we forget, album's good. Check that out. Um, <laughs> 
If you have recommendations, let me know. If you have heavy metal recommendations, let me know too. It's not super easy to find people that listen to heavy metal, so at least where I'm at, maybe I'm in the wrong place. I've had these tiny little braids in my hair for like two weeks. I'm wondering at what point I should just chop them off. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry, it was most likely not life-changing. If you like makeup, make sure to give this a thumbs up. And if you don't like makeup, give it a thumbs up. That way I'm able to know. I'm gonna go film a video and um, listen to some heavy metal. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on Thursday. Bye, guys. Sometimes I hear myself and I'm like, girl, what are you talking about?